Hello and welcome to another Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at the VLOOKUP function, a very useful feature uh, and one that allows you to put data into your spreadsheet automatically based on information set up on a table elsewhere in the spreadsheet. What I've done here is set up a small table uh, at the top of the spreadsheet. As you can see we have some code or reference numbers in column A and what I would like Excel to do is automatically put in the description information and the unit price of the item as well based on the reference number that I type here. Now if I just show you the, the data table that the VLOOKUP function will look up it's here and on the left hand side of this table we have the reference numbers that Excel will use to get the data and the actual data we want to retrieve is on the in column 2 and column 3 so we have the product information here, the product names and finally the price, the unit price of each item. Okay, So let's set up a formula and you'll see how it works as I, as I put it together. So as with any formula in Excel we start with the equals key and then I will type the name of the function which is VLOOKUP. It's called VLOOKUP. The, the lookup part is obvious. Um, the V refers to vertical which means it looks down a column as opposed to across a row. Okay, so again with the function we start with a parentheses or open bracket and we need now to tell Excel what information we want to use with the formula. Now the first thing we need to tell it is where the reference number is that we need uh, to get the data from the data table. Now in this case the reference number or the index is this cell here and that tells Excel that we use the code number in column A to get the data from the data table and then we type a comma which separates the different arguments in the formula and now we need to tell Excel where the actual data table is and so I need to go down to the data table and then I'm going to select the data within the table. Now the important thing here is that you should not select any column headings so if I'd for example put you know reference number here and uh, product name here I should not select those because it can confuse the formula and it won't return the, the correct results. Equally when you set up the data table as you can see here this table is sorted numerically and it's very important whether you use a, a, an alphabetic sorting or a numeric sorting the very first column needs to be sorted correctly A to Z or 0 to 9 depending on how you set up your table. Again the formula won't work correctly if it's not sorted. Okay. So we've told Excel where the table is. There is one very important thing I'm going to do here, which is press the F4 key. Now, as you can see, what that's done, it's put little dollar signs around the cell references, and that sets it as an absolute reference. So when I copy this formula down, uh, it won't move or change the, the cell references for the table, which is very important. Otherwise, again, we will get wrong results entered into our uh, description and price columns or we'll end up with no results at all. Okay, so that's that part. Again, we type a comma. And the final part is we need to tell Excel what column the information we, we want the data retrieving from. And as this is the description column, I'm going to tell it to look in column 2 of the data table. And as you can see in the data table, column 2 contains our product names. And then I'm going to close the bracket. And that is the essential formula for a VLOOKUP. And if I click that tick button there, which is the same as pressing enter, you'll see it puts the product name in, which is correct, hammer. Now, obviously what I can do is just copy this formula down, one, two cells, and it will put in the correct items for code 5001 and code 4001, bolts and nails. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for price, and I'll do it a manual VLOOKUP again, just to show very quickly how it all works, equals VLOOKUP. Try and get the key right. Open the bracket. Again, the first thing I need to tell Excel is where the reference number is. In this case, it's A2, comma. Then tell Excel where the data table is. Select the table. Only the data, remember, not the column headings. Press F4 to make it an absolute reference, comma. And this time, the information is in column 3 of the data table. It's the price information. So to simply type the number 3, close the bracket or close the parentheses, 
and this time I'll press the enter key and you'll see that the price £10.20 goes into column C which is great and again I can simply copy those down and the correct price will go in to each of those um, now of course what I can do now is I can add a uh, code on to prove the whole thing works so if I type in into the code column 2001 tab across there uh, what I can do now is I can copy both these down and what we should find is that um, code 2001 refers to screws uh, which cost 30 pence each, quite expensive actually but anyway we'll copy that down, make sure it works ok and there we go screws goes in and 30p, we'll put a quantity in uh, we'll say we've got 30 of those and we'll just copy the calculation down in the total column that's totally £9, great, so it's working that concludes part one of this look at the VLOOKUP function. Uh, in part two we'll have a look at some of the problems that can occur with the VLOOKUP formula and we'll also see how you can very quickly create the same result using the PASTE function feature. So hope to see you in that and uh, hope this little tutorial has been useful. Thank you very much.